What's up everyone, it's Big Buku here and I got a game for you guys that's that's pretty good. I like it. It's been on my hard drive for about two to three weeks. And I figure why not upload it? I haven't uploaded a video today and I have uploaded maybe one or two, one yesterday. I don't know. I feel like I'm slowing down with the videos. But I was gonna do a gameplay commentary on this, but I figured that'd be kinda boring. Like I don't know if you guys want to hear that stuff. I don't know. But I get, I'll tell you my setup anyway. I'm running Scavenger, Sleight of Hand Pro, or Scavenger Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, Marathon Pro, with the Kipparis, and I don't think I have any attachments except, ex oh, extended mags. Yeah, that's the attachment, and that's it. I was basically, this is when I got into my sub submachine gun phase, and now all I use are submachine guns. I, I haven't touched an assault rifle for we Actually, no, I, I played a game today, but never mind that. But I do pretty well, especially on a big map like this. And four of the four of the six enemies were using ghosts, so that made it a very relatively slow game. The time almost ran out. But what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is a hobby of mine, and a hobby outside of Call of Duty. I have two big ones, but I'm going to talk one today, and I'll, I'll do another one in a video pretty soon. Like I don't know. But music, that's a big part of my life. I'm very into music. I'm an avid musician, music listener, music. I like to analyze music, critique it. And but what I'm going to talk about is what I play. I play bass. That's my main instrument. I know a lot of people say bass are failed guitar players. And i got to tell you right now that I did start off playing guitar. However, I switched to bass because one of my friends is a phenomenal guitar player. Frank, he's the guy who I do the friendly fun with, and the, like, kind of the lag grenade video, and stuff like that, and he's a phenomenal guitar player. Oh, look at this, I come up and I'm just like, snipes, but yeah, so I figured why not play bass, so we can be, because I don't know, guitar, it, it's just tough for me, I don't know, I don't like it very much, I like playing acoustic sometimes, but other times I'll just, I like playing bass, it's a lot easier for me. I have more fun. I like the sound of it better. I don't like the trebleness of the guitar. And I don't know. Bassists are kind of overlooked. And they're usually the shy, awkward guys of the group. And that's kind of what I am. So, yeah. Bass guitar. That wasn't going to I also, yeah, like I said, I also play guitar. I play a little bit of keys as well. And I play drums whenever there's a drum kit. I, just, I like to play drums. That's probably my. I don't know. It's fun for probably the most fun really just because I I don't have a kit so I'm not c killing it and I I do play rock band I'm a pretty kick-ass drummer I play it all on expert I mean I can do the job for a cowboy songs the the like the the heaviest hardest songs and metal and whatever but but yeah so bass is my main instrument I feel most at home when I'm playing that and the type of music I listen to right now I go th if all my friends if if you were to talk to them they'd say I go through phases and it's true I used to be a metalhead before I met my current girlfriend and we're going on two years come February 23rd so congrats to me <laughs> um, but yeah I used to be a big metalhead now I ever since I met her I opened up more to music and I'm a pop punk kinda guy follow up boy Cobra Starship Yumi at six Sparks the Rescue, Blink-182, although that's more just straight punk, Hit the Lights, All Time Low, bands like that, and I really enjoy that stuff now. And that's the kind of bass lines I like to play, simple root notes, and a, lo a lot of people give root note bass players a lot of crap, oh, you're only playing roots, hey, you know what, if it fits the song, it fits the song, like, why go overboard? If, if you've ever heard a local band with a bass player that plays everything like over he overplays everything like you're a bass player and he's just over playing it's like bleh, oh my gosh like calm down buddy you you don't need to be playing that for it to sound good like you're just playing for your ego and that's one thing i don't like to do i don't like to play for my ego i like to play for the song and how it suits it i mean if i'm jamming along i want to see like hey can i come up with a like a really intricate unnecessary bass line yeah why not but when i'm playing with other people i, I tend to keep it straightforward because if you ever, if you're a musician, if you ever played with a bad bass player, it really throws everything off. 
and bass players often get overlooked because, oh, you're just the bass player, you're not doing anything, like, you're not at the forefront of the band, but I, f I find bass to be, they're the, bass and drums are the backbone. I mean, if you have a good bass player, you probably won't say anything about it, or if you, if you have a solid bass player, you won't be like, oh my god, the bass player is amazing, but if he's a bad bass player, you're going to be, oh my gosh, the band sounds, and sounds horrible, and he's going to be a lot easier to pick out. But yeah, like I'm not, like like I said earlier, I, I listen to a lot of pop punk stuff. I like to play easy bass lines. Like I'm not saying all pop music, pop punk music are, are easy bass lines, but a good majority are. And I mean, Blink-182 is a great example. I know if you go on Ultimate Guitar, Blink-182 bass tabs are off the roof. Just because Hoppus is, he's a cool guy. And he's a straightforward bass player. He doesn't do anything that he doesn't need to do. But if you listen to songs like Feeling This, that has a, a very intricate bass line. Although it's, it's root fifths. And uh, I don't know if you guys have any idea what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll go off with my music knowledge and just talk nonsense to everyone. But it's a relatively easy bass line once you get used to it. But it works really well with the song. And this is a song off their uh, first album, Buddha, that has... A really cool bass line. This song's called Romeo and Rebecca, and it's really cool. And if you listen to bands like Rancid, they're a they're a punk band. And oh, who's the bass player? That's gonna kill me. Oh man, I can't I can't believe I forget that. But anyway, Maxwell Murder has an amazing bass solo, and it's just it, there are those bass players in every genre, not just punk. That people say this is why I play bass. The reason I picked up bass mainly is because. Geddy Lee, a Rush. I absolutely, I love Rush. <laughs> it's a, they're such a weird band, but you know, you listen to his bass lines, and you gotta figure, he's the bass player, he's the lead singer, and he's also the synth and effects programmer. And it's just amazing. Other bands I like, I like Jamiroquai. Funk, I'm a, I'm a big funk guy. I li I'd like to think I can be a funk bass player, but I don't know, I'm just not good. I, I don't have the groove. And I'd really like to be able to play that kind of metal stuff and that insane funk stuff, but I just, I guess I'm kind of lazy. I don't feel like putting in the time. But I'm I'm totally fine playing root lines. Like, it's not a big deal at all. Uh, let's see, what other kind of bands do I like to listen to? Let's pop up my iTunes and I'll talk about something else. But yeah, Frank is a great guitar player. He has a demo CD. He recorded with uh, a couple guys. He does a lot of open, night, open mic night blues jams and stuff like that. And I've gone to one and I played along and it was a blast. You know, I always love going to live music. And it's just so fun. And he's a great guitar player. And what I want to do, I think Vendro did it. And I know Sandy Ravage is a big, oh, look at this. One, two, three, camping in the corner. Sit down. Sandy Ravage is a big guy with the music in his videos. But when I, I want to go up into a chopper gunner and I want to I wanna put... Like Frank's song, I mean, it's, it's blues song, so it probably wouldn't be too appealing. But I think it'd be kind of like a fun little touch, other than like the the standard. Oh, I don't want to look at your chopper gunner. Like I know a lot of people fast forward it, but if I could put some cool music, then why not? But yeah, some music I listen to. Like my big influences, I'm popping up my iTunes, and I I update it really often. Is um, all time lows up there. I'm really digging Angels and Airwaves, The Black Keys, Great Band, Blink-182. I like playing a dead mouse. I mean, just playing that, those, uh, I forget what kind of music that's called. I know a lot of people call it dubstep, but I know a lot of people get pissed if you incorrectly categorize it. I like playing the dead mouse stuff. Dillinger Escape Plan. I mean, that's on the hardcore side. I also like bands like MGMT. They're kind of weird. The Mars Volta. Imogen Heap. i really been digging her lately. Interpol. Uh, what else we got? The Pixies, classic Boston band. Kim Deal, great bass player. The XX, they're a relatively new band, and they have a great album, self-titled. The White Stripes, I know they're, they they broke up officially, but, you know, they're a, Jack White's a great guitar player. Taylor Swift, I love Taylor Swift. And Thriving Ivory, and I could go on and on, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you guys. So this kind of wraps up the gameplay, and I go 23 and 4 with two assists, and using a submachine gun on this map is pretty hard, so give me a little bit of credit for that. And when they're using ghosts, it makes it that much difficult, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think.
comment, rate, like, I don't know, that usual stuff. Have a good one.